Is he the owl? I take it back. There's no way you can see that uh, on this wide angle lens. But there's a great gray owl out here. And this is a similar spot. I'm about a quarter mile from where I found a great gray owl seven days ago. So it's, let's call it reasonable that this might be the same owl, but certainly not guaranteed. There probably could be owls cruising around these forests everywhere, but. Uh, I'm super psyched to find this owl. As always, I love, love, love these great gray owls. This one's looking around a little bit like it's it's kind of awake, but it then also kind of looks bored and closes its eyes and stuff. So uh, I just found it and uh, it already, is, you know, it's letting me know it's totally cool with me being here. It's like resting and chilling, doesn't seem to be bothered by me at all. Uh, so I have like, uh, how much time left in the day? I've got two hours of light left. Even with the 402.8 here, this beautiful piece of equipment, the uh, Nikon Z9 with the 402.8 Z lens. Um, so even at f2.8 out here, it gets dark so fast in these woods. You can see there's still quite a bit of light punching through the woods here. So this owl, hopefully it starts moving around and hunting and it'll be kind of in and out of this light. So exposure is going to be tricky going from like direct sunlight into just dark, uh, deep forest shade in here. So it could be a little tricky, which is fine. Like I love this kind of dramatic pocketed kind of light. Uh, ooh, it just saw something it might like. It looks kind of interested, like it might hunt here. So I hope I don't miss it because I'm vlogging. That happens all the time. So anyway, I'm going to look here. I'll get back to you in a second. I'm going to watch this owl and see if it starts hunting, and then I'll get back to you. Because right now, there's not much to talk about other than just the pure joy of being alone in the woods with a great gray owl. Again, which is awesome. I love it so much. Uh, but now I'm going to try and make some photos and continue the vlog, hopefully. But anyway, there it is, kind of right, right down the barrel on that little diagonal tree. And he's just hanging out there, waiting for a little uh, gopher or a vole of some kind to make a noise and then it can pounce on it. So I'm in a decent spot right here. The background is kind of that bright, cluttery stuff. So I don't love the background here. There's really not a photo to be made yet. Uh, so I really want to just kind of lay low, let it do its thing and start hunting and moving from perch to perch flying around and giving me some more interesting opportunities than on a just kind of mediocre perch here. So I'll check back with you in a few minutes, hopefully, with a hunting gray gray owl.
so badass. He flew right up and landed right in front of me after catching a little bull, a gopher or something in the grass. Ooh, now he's on a killer perch too. Gotta find an angle to get through these trees. Ooh, look at that. See him up there? Dude, I gotta put this down and make some photos. That's awesome, beautiful. was a killer like two minutes of owl photography that was awesome and now i lost him he flew through the woods where i couldn't oh he's right there i was gonna say i thought say he flew through the woods where i couldn't see him but i do see him out there so even better uh light was it's that like super contrasty pocketed spotlight in the forest light it was incredible just gorgeous. I need to find a path to get around to him here. Just in the forest, you know? All right, I'm gonna keep going. That was awesome, awesome couple of minutes. After waiting about an hour for him to come, uh, come alive there and uh, wake up and start hunting. And boy, he was super, he or she, whatever, really gave me some good stuff right there. That was awesome. Hope it continues. This is so hard. Trying to shoot video for the vlog, trying to vlog, and trying to make photos. Uh, it's so hard, but so much fun. Okay, I'll check back in. I gotta go get in location, get set up again. Okay, so I have a minute. The owl seems to have calmed down and is sitting on a unremarkable perch. Uh, so I'll take a moment to vlog here. I'll just kind of let you know what I'm thinking about out here. Um, I'm trying to maintain a thousandth of a second for any kind of action stuff. Uh, and that's putting me at like, you know, it totally depends. When, they're, when, when it's in the shade, it's like F2.8 ISO 1600. Uh, and then when it's in the bright light, it's like F2.8, ISO 200, a 8,000th eight of a second or something. So it's drastic, uh, radically different lighting conditions depending on where the owl is and what, it, what kind of light is flying through. <clears throat> so in that sense, it's kind of tricky. And I kind of got to anticipate if I want a photo of it flying, say, for instance, through the shade, then I got exposed for that dark shade and then when it hits the bright pockets you know uh, I'll do my best to get it reasonably uh, exposed um, but I'm trying to think of which which one looks good for each particular situation and uh, being ready to expose for that I am in automatic I'm in aperture priority mode here uh, to try and let the camera do some of that heavy lifting but even you know in the aperture priority the difference in the light is so drastic. Oh, mosquito, God. Uh, the difference in the light is so drastic that it's not gonna be able to uh, keep up with it. It'll do better than me, but, you know, just adjusting manual exposure. But I just gotta do my best out here. Uh, background, background, background out here. Uh, and trying to find the light, like if it's in a nice perch with backlight, I can try and move around and backlight it. Or if I want front lit with a really dark background, those can look incredible. And that's like that one up on the perch just a minute ago. Uh, I moved, the, there was light on the owl and on the perch, kind of dappled coming through the, God, another mosquito. Oh shoot, it just flew while I'm yammering away. Okay, I'll get back to you. I gotta go find him again.
Well, I waited a long, long time for the owl to come off of this perch. And it finally did, and it went the wrong way. But now it moved to another perch. Uh, I gotta move into position. I'm running out of light. I'm, I'm already shooting at like over ISO 3200, which is an ideal. I'm gonna get up into 6400 and 12,800 soon, even with the F2.8. So I'm running low on time. This bird has been awesome tonight. And I'm getting really low on light, but he's still moving around in the forest. Lost it again, but it didn't go far. Ooh, I see it. Ooh, it's actually got a little bit of sweet back light on it here. See if you can see it over here. Tricky background, real cluttery. I gotta find a good background. Uh, the backlight thing isn't gonna work, but it's a killer perch. All right, right here's gonna work. GoPro's gotta go away again. You see the L? So that noise it made is a noise a great gray owl makes when another great gray owl is coming in. And it just flew out in this meadow. But there must be another great gray owl around here. I've never heard a great gray make that noise when there wasn't another owl in the vicinity. Man, I wish this was happening with better light because it's getting dark. What an incredible evening. Okay, GoPro's going away. I gotta try and locate this owl and maybe another owl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll check back in. So there's definitely a second owl in the neighborhood. I saw it fly away. And I've got my original owl up there in that tree. Uh, it was calling again, so I don't know if this is a territorial dispute or possibly some canoodling. It's not mating season, but these owls might be doing some flirting out here. Incredible, incredible evening. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get a Good look at the other owl. Oop, that one's flying. Oof, flew away into the dense jungle. Uh, jungle. This isn't a jungle. I'm losing my mind out here. Uh, in a good way. So, I, I think I'm gonna let this be. It's so dark, it doesn't look like it on the camera, of course, that I can't do much with what's going on in here. Uh, and now that I know I got two owls back here, uh, I might just let them do their thing in the dark, if you know what I mean. And actually I can hear the, that other owl must be that way because the first owl flew that way and the squirrels are all barking over here. So I'm sure I could locate that owl uh, well, I'm not sure, because it's pretty thick in here and they blend in perfectly, but amazing, amazing. Just a fantastic evening. Uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought there. I was trying to like talk you through what I was thinking, but basically out here, it's just react to what's going on. And I had like an hour where I sat there and waited for this owl to come off a perch. And it finally did. And of course I wasn't really paying attention because uh, it had been an hour and it just all of a sudden just launched. It didn't go down and hunt. So that was a bit disappointing because that was a cool perch and that would have been a beautiful spot for it to go hunt. Uh, but it did hunt in front of me a couple of times. I got some incredible like close flybys from that owl uh, and it made some beautiful pictures on beautiful perches. Great light. Like these are the kind of evenings that I live for out here and why I hike so much and get out here all alone just so I can experience this kind of stuff. Uh, so just absolute magic for me out here. 
Uh, couldn't be much happier with how tonight went. Just had an absolute ball. So uh, I don't know what, what else to tell you out here. Just I, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, I hope you feel my kind of joy, and I hope you get to experience that too. Um, no matter what you photograph out there or not, just find find something that you love doing, you know, the way I like this, because it uh, it really just, it, like this will this night will kind of make my whole month, you know? And I'll have some other great experiences this month, but this this will be a tough one to top. Uh, just everything about it, the photography, the videography, and the experience, uh, all of it just worked. So I'm super grateful to that owl uh, and just to my my life that I get to come out and do this and uh, on a regular basis and then kind of make these magic moments happen with my camera and capture them for other people to enjoy. So thanks so much for watching. I'm I'm also I'm so grateful that I have people to share this stuff with, you know, people that care, uh, people that enjoy it, uh, people that are supportive of me. It's uh, I'm just I'm feeling it right now. The owl and the ability to share this stuff and uh, to capture these moments is uh, just a, a great thing. So thanks for watching. Sorry, I'm rambling. I do it. You know, if you don't like my rambling. Sorry unsubscribe. There are lots of great YouTube channels out there where the guys don't ramble like I do. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. Thanks to that bird. And um, have a great day. Bye-bye.